Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back to a new episode of Rex to Reaches. Due to popular demand, I decided to make a, a gold grind that's suitable for all classes and can make you a lot of gold. Now, if you don't follow me on Twitch, uh, so far in Classic I made about 50,000 gold. I still have like 25,000 gold cash, uh, most of them on my mage. Uh, and I do have a lot of uh, gold invested into the materials. Not necessarily invested, I just didn't sell them yet. Things like... Uh, gems and lotuses and shadow protection potions and so on. I don't really invest the gold, I grind it 95% uh, of them. Now, uh, what people don't know is that half of the gold that I made so far are made with the rogue. It's not necessarily that only the mage class can uh, uh, make gold, but warriors, uh, rogues, uh, priests can also make gold. And I'm gonna show you exactly today a route, and this is just gonna be the first of the series. Actually, I'm gonna show three grinding spots that can make you a lot of gold, especially now. Um, I do, people ask me why do I make so much gold, it's because I spend a lot of gold, I spent like more than 25,000 so far. Give you some examples, last MC I spent 3,000 gold, I am not that lucky with the rolls, maybe some of you experienced this as well. So I bought the Core Hound Tooth from the winner for 1100 gold, I bought the Night Slayer pants for uh, 500 gold from the winner, I bought the Night Slayer belt and the Night Slayer bracers for 1400 gold to make that my 5 piece set bonus, last night I bought Hand of Justice for 275 gold, someone farmed it for me, uh, I bought Brutality Blade for 700 gold after I, after I lost it for an, with a 99 roll, someone rolled 100, I bought like uh, Onyxia Tooth Pendant uh, for 400 gold and so on. So. I do spend a lot of gold because I like to gear my alts with epics quite fast and probably I'm gonna spend more in uh, Blackwing Lair as well. Now uh, I'm going to show you a route that I use in the, this part of the map, Western and Eastern Plaguelands and I'm gonna show you how I made uh, in 20 minutes, in about 20 minutes of playtime, uh, 200 gold. And this is something that I do consistently. You can see that I have some items in the bag. Don't worry, there are gonna be timestamps in the description from, for every spot. And uh, at the end you'll see the potential gold per hour just by casually killing some mobs. So without further ado, let's jump into the first spot. The first spot we're going to visit today is the Weeping Cave. Situated in the northeastern part of uh, Western Plaguelands. Here we can find the elementals, the rothing behemoths and decaying horrors. Mobs with a chance to drop uh, the greater nature protection potion. Uh, so far I got about 5 of them and each time I got the recipe it was when I was uh, coming by here just to test the spot, uh, not to consistently grind it. Now uh, a couple of days ago on stream I farmed it for about 2 hours and on and off while I was logging on my mage to kill the mobs at Heart Glen, I was also here with the rogue to find the recipe and I found 2 of them probably in less than 2 hours. Now, so far I sold 5 uh, with the prices between 75 and 120 gold. Um, they go quite well, I don't know, maybe not enough people farm them or uh, most alchemists need them because you can still sell nature protection potions. Maybe for the hunter quest, maybe for something else, but this is a great spot. Now one thing to notice here is that if you cannot find rothing behemoths or decaying horrors, which are the mobs that drop the recipe, you will find slimes. The slimes share the same uh, spawn location with the behemoths. So if you have too many slimes, you have to kill the slimes, but don't worry. If you kill the slimes, you have a chance to get an oozing bag. And you'll get a lot of them because the drop chance is quite a lot. And inside the oozing bag, you, bag, you can find a pet co called the Disgusting Oozling. Which might be useful in the future for uh, AQ40 or just to sell it on the auction house. Prices might differ uh, on uh, different servers. Now as you can see the mobs also drop like herbs, a winter spite. Winter spite right now sells for 1.5g a, uh, a pop on our server. Also ghost mushrooms and things like greens. Uh, I just killed a couple of mobs before I started recording this. I got the level 51 plus greens and uh, so on. Inside the cave you can find a, a rich thorium spawn sometime. Hopefully we can find it today. And uh, outside the cave you can find uh, mountain silver sage. You can find um, Plague Bloom and uh, Dream Foil, which uh, quite now they go for a lot. So if you have like one gathering profession, which I recommend on your class, uh, one gathering profession, you can uh, make some extra bucks. Now the drop chance for the recipe is supposed to be probably about 1%. 
Although I, I think I got lucky, uh, each time I came here I got one. And I didn't spend a lot of time. So it depends on your price on your server, this spot can be anywhere from uh, 30 gold to probably 150 gold per hour. Maybe we get lucky today as well, usually when I'm far, uh, filming those videos uh, I usually get rare items. Um, the problem is with the, the slimes, uh, the fire slimes are quite easy to kill. Uh, however, the devouring slimes uh, have a... Once they die, they spawn five little oozling. As a rogue, I do not have like AoE spells unless I'm combat, but I am a sub right now. And it might be harder for them to kill them, you have to kill them individually. But as a warrior or other classes, you can probably either dot them and they die quite easy. They have like 1k HP, maybe less. Uh, make sure you kill the slimes too. So you can sp spawn more behemoths and decaying horrors. Doesn't seem like it wants to drop right now, but uh, maybe we get lucky. Who knows? Uh, on top of this, uh, you got get a lot of raw silver from here. The mobs die quite easy. Maybe it's my gear on the rogue. Uh, recently, I got some new upgrades. Um, Maybe maybe they just die easy because I came here with the mage. With the mage, I'm able to pull like half of the cave and kill them. <laughs> but uh, oh, there we go. We're going to aggro a disgusting oozling, and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll have to kill them though, or else uh, they're, they're, they're spawning little oozlings. I'm gonna pop a slice and dice here because it's gonna take a while to kill the little ones. And there we go, we have like seven mobs spawned. A cleave would have been here, uh, great, a whirlwind. Uh, and I think I have to pop a potion, oh my god. I think we'll be fine. Now, um... Uh, out of the four spawn Torium spawn points, I think they spawn every 20 minutes, so you could get potential 3 per hour. Um, maybe you get an Arcane Crystal. Arcane Crystal sell for a lot right now. And uh, make sure you always go outside of the cave because there are like 7 or 8 spawn points which can be elementals. Uh, and you might get like Mountain Silver Sages and uh, Dream Foils. I think we have a couple of them on the bottom of the cave. Oh yeah, nice. I really, really enjoyed this spot. Uh, I don't know why. It feels like um, the mobs are dying quite fast. They're level 55. For some classes, uh, when I'm playing combat here, I pull like two or three mobs and I use my blade flurry. Uh, they go way faster. Also for uh, fury warriors or... Um, you can, you can also pull extra mobs, wouldn't be a problem. And this might be the last one. Oh no, there's a decaying horror coming. They don't hit for that much, as you can see, 79, so uh, there's little to no downtime, so you can kill them fast, and if you kill them fast, you'll still make gold by uh, dropping greens and greys, and um, just getting the raw silver from them, maybe herbs, look at that. And... Last one is the lucky one. It was not. I'm gonna check again for the rich Torium spawn in case uh, something popped up. Maybe some mobs respawned at the beginning of the cave. 
And uh, we're going to open the oozing bags. Maybe we get like a disgusting oozling. Although in five minutes, uh, I don't think uh, you'll get it. Or who knows? I got two in two hours. It doesn't seem like this is going to happen. Oh yeah, there's one more uh, at the beginning of the cave. I think they're starting to respawn. Like the respawn timers are pretty fast here. Uh, you cannot like really clear the cave, so I think this can host like two or three people. It would be nice if you would be alone though. That's for sure. Oh, and there we go. We have a, a rich thorium, I think. Sweet. Maybe we get an arcane crystal. This is so nice. I really wanted to get like an arcane crystal and um, the recipe itself. The the bags, oh huge emerald, close one. The bags uh, themselves tend to fill quite quickly here. Uh, most of it is trash loot though. Um, the disgusting was the slimes have really. Oh, it's not that cheap. Like they have a cheap loot table though. And okay. Oh my God! I cannot believe this. <laughs> a hundred and ten gold. There we go. While trying to film a video, this is my third one. I have like, oh wow! I'm so freaking lucky. <laughs> Maybe this took longer than, um, it took me like 8 or 9 minutes to clear uh, all the mobs. And now as I came out, I'm gonna look a bit for uh, Mountain Silver Sages. Um, maybe some uh, Plague Blooms and... Uh, oh wow, look, mobs spawned outside. This is really good. <laughs> maybe we get another one. That, that would be weird, huh? I think we're uh, overextending this. Um, let's open the slime bags. They drop a lot of silver in the in the bags. Uh, would be nice to get like the pet. Unfortunately, we didn't get the pet. Uh, we're gonna move to the next spot after this. We did get the the Gator Nature Protection Potion, which goes for 110 gold. Um, a couple of uh, greens and some raw silver. Probably like 120 gold so far in 10 minutes of gameplay. Let's move to the next spot um, right now. Oh, another losing bag, wait. And there we go. Our second spot for today is going to be in the Eastern Plaguelands. Uh, all over the map. Now, uh, lately the price of Larval Acid started to go up. It's currently sitting on Farlina at about uh, 10 gold a pop. Uh, before I shot the second spot, I did for almost an hour last night. Uh, and I got five larval acids in one hour. And right now, just before shooting the second spot, uh, I got another one. Now, uh, there are two types of uh, worms here that can drop larval acid. They're the carrion divorce, as you can see, we have right three spawns here which are with levels 56 and 58 probably. They're situated in the northern part of the map, but um, the density of them is quite lower here. However, the divorce have a, about a 7% chance to drop the larval acid, and the carrion grubs, which are between level 54 and 55, which are situated on the south part of the southern part of the map, they have about 5% uh, chance to drop a larval acid. Now, um, with 10 gold a pop, this is such a great spot because the, the drop... Look, we just got one. 10 gold right there. And um, and with such a great spot, like you have access to, for example, rich thoriums if you have mining. You have access to dream foil, plague bloom, even black lotus because this is not a static grind. You can go all, all over the map and find those mobs, uh, especially on the, the northern part here. This is the ones I prefer, but uh, if you go all the way here from uh, the entrance of uh, EPL to Corning's Crossing, you can find like way more of them. Now, they share the same uh, spawn points with um, plague bats and with uh, dogs, but people kill the plague bats for the Dark Moon event, for the eyes, 
and also people kill the plague bats uh, the um, the dogs for for raw silver or for questing the part the southern part people kill them for quest there's a quest where you have to kill a lot of mobs so you always find them uh, available i'm just here looking for a lotus while i'm uh, maybe we can make some more gold so we got like literally two larval acids in, in like 10 mobs and uh, hopefully we can find the rich thorium here uh I, I, I'm trying to explain here that you can make more gold with a class that is a non-mage than with a mage. So far today we're sitting on uh, 130 gold and we played for 20 minutes. You just need to have the knowledge. Now, this is not the only grind spots. I'm going to continue to make a series for uh, these videos where um, we're going to touch on different zones and how, to, how you can exploit them to their max potential. Look at the amount of spawns uh, here. I have to admit it's early in the morning, but those five I farmed them last night for an hour after I closed my stream uh, I came here. It was probably even less than an hour. You also get like greens of course, maybe some uh, epics or rares. It's up to the luck, but most important like herbs. And um, I think we're going to see a couple of more i think we proved our point but um <laughs> now i really want to get more because this is really exciting each time you get one it's like uh 10g and look at the amount of them and how easy they die any class can kill them and we have a rich thorium spawn there it's just just getting better and better let's go fast we kill this one and we take the rich thorium maybe we can snatch an arcane crystal or something uh the mobs drop a lot of uh, gray items uh, they don't sell for a lot it's like 10 silver a stack of these and 10 silver a stack of that so i got like one gold uh, but you also get like um i'm just going to vanish i think here hey what happened to the rich story? wasn't it here it was there wait a minute oh it was there i see now I was blind, but now I see. <laughs> so I would really recommend this. Uh, check the prices on the auction house in our server. On some servers, they might not be 10 gold. Uh, this is Farlina. I'm not sure about other prices. So let's hope for an arcane crystal. Oh my god. I guess I'm getting overexcited here. So far, we're sitting on about 130, 140 gold, and we've been only. Oh my god, an arcane crystal. What the hell, man? <laughs> So this is 60G right now on our server. So uh, we got 130 with 60, 190G. We've been playing for less than 15 minutes. Let's go uh, next. Because people tend to always say that only mages can make gold. And mages only make consistent gold in dungeon. Like uh, what people don't understand that with this rogue, I made probably half of my gold that I have in... Uh, World of Warcraft. So far I made about 50,000 gold and uh, a lot of it is made with a mage. Of course I haven't cashed on the lotuses or all of the crystals or the things that I have on my rogue but I did for example with my rogue last MC I spent uh, 3,000 gold. Uh, I purchased the core hound tooth because I didn't win the roll. I purchased the night slayer pants. I purchased the night slayer belt. I purchased the night slayer blazes. Uh, I purchased my brutality blade like a couple of MCs ago. I purchased my onyxia suit pendant. I purchased my uh, hand of justice last night. Like once you have a, a lot of gold, you can a lot of windows of possibility open. I think we proved our point here. Uh, I think we're going to go to the last spot, which uh, I like very much. I've done this last spot like two days ago for two hours, and I wonders happen so uh, let's move to the last spot but first let's check if there's an arcane a rich thorium here okay so for our last spot for today we came to the noxious glade but you can also do it in the fungal bill the two locations in uh, epl that uh, have uh, undead mobs rich thoriums black lotus mountain silver sage and plague blooms now the reason we're here, it's not necessarily for the for those items that we stated. We came here for the Greater Shadow Protection Potion. Oh, an, an Azerotian Diamond. For the Greater Shadow Protection Potions. I, I've done, like, like I said, a two hours grind uh, two days ago, and I got three Shadow Protection Potions. 
Now, uh, the Shadow Protection Potions drop from the Humanoids here. Also, the Humanoids here give Reputation with Arge and Dawn. Each time you kill one, you get 5 Reputation until you reach um, Revered. Now, uh, the, the Crypt Slayers, the, the Spiders, share the same uh, respawn spot with the Humanoids, so you want to kill them too. Also, if you kill them all, it's okay to kill like uh, diseased flares or uh, scorched champions. The mobs are level 59 to 60, 58 to 60 more exactly, and um, they can uh, they can drop like really good items if you're lucky. Especially greens that sell for a lot. Uh, also, there are three chest spawn locations. Now, one it's here, uh, and also here can a lotus can spawn exactly behind this chest, which is on the right side of the um, as you enter five restorium veins which can be on the sides of the heels here um, and the second chest it's inside that ziggurat and I'm going to show you the the third chest as we get there so the main recipe we're hunting here is the greater shadow protection potions which currently goes for 75 gold uh, on my server now I got many of these before because I farmed this spot for a lot back in the past I sold them for um, 50, 55, I even think I sold one for 80 G. I got probably like 10 until now. Uh, the problem is that the Blackwing Glare, uh, Shadow Protection Potions are gonna, going to be used for Nefarian and Alchemist might want to add this recipe to their arsenal. Um, I'm hoping to get one too today. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can get lucky like three times in a row. So far we're sitting on uh, 200 gold per hour and we... Well, 200 gold per 15 minutes because we did 10 minutes in uh, EP Western Plaguelands. Uh, 5 minutes killing... Uh, like in 5 minutes we got 3 larval acids, uh, an arcane crystal, and then another 10 minutes we got like a greater nature, nature protection potion. If we get like a greater shadow that's like... It's too OP. It's not gonna happen. I'm just trying to point out that not being a mage makes you money. But knowledge about things and... Um, well, playing at the correct hour, I guess, it's quite early in the morning here. Uh, my server is not quite a dead server. Like, I farm here. Uh, like, those five larval acids I farmed last last night after I closed my stream during peak time. And also, uh, yesterday I farmed, like, uh, I think 10 arcane crystals. In total. Uh, always look for herbs and for minerals if you have. You don't necessarily have to have both. But it's nice to know that you have a, a black lotus spawn here. So if you spend a couple of hours, there's a chance that the lotus will spawn here and you'll get advantage over others to, to obtain it. Now, another chest can spawn exactly here next to those two guys. Uh, remember that only the humanoids, the shadow mage and the dark adept uh, drops the shadow protection potion. On top of this, these mobs can drop like... Uh, I, I never got an epic from here, but I did get nice things from the chest. Uh, I got orb of deception from the chest. I got like recently a six demon bag. It doesn't really sell on the auction house, but I think it's a really nice trinket to to have. And oh my god, I think I'm gonna die here. Mm, that's not. I uh, the, the mobs do more damage. That's obviously than the other ones, and uh, I didn't pay attention. You. You want to kill, if, if you killed all the adepts and uh, the slayers, you want to kill like the, the other undeads too. You never know what they drop. Uh, consistency is key here. A plague bloom, plague bloom goes for one gold. Um, I'll just pick it, why the hell not. It's one gold a pop. Maybe I make a third stack and I have like 60 gold from herbs. This is what I grinded uh, yesterday, except the, except the, the lotuses. I found four lotuses yesterday. Um, casually playing, uh, really lucky because in the past days I haven't really got that many. So here I'm trying to sap one because this this adept stuns. It stuns you and it's so nasty. And it does have more HP than the shadow mages though. Although shadow mages have like um, a really nasty shadow bolt, which you might want to interrupt if you can. If you cannot, that's okay. You won't die probably. Just uh, kill them fast. And see, look at the damage. Uh, I'm getting like a lot of damage here. I really want to get the, um, <laughs> the recipe to prove a point. I just want to prove a point that not only mages can grind. And this is only the first episode of the series where we're going to show grinding spots. I think I'm going to add to the 
Rex to Reaches series, um, more spots like this in different areas because every area has like chests or rare drops or uh, uh, things that you can farm. Uh, I do recommend, however, to have at least one gathering profession. In case you don't get the, the rare drops, at least you can make like uh, 30 to 40 gold per hour uh, just from professions. And the grays you get in this raw silver you drop from the mobs. The recipe doesn't seem to want to drop right now. But it always keeps your hopes high. Oh, another rich thorium. Maybe we get an, an arcane crystal. I guess I can go for that. Oh, why am I in combat? Well, you know what? I don't care. Let's let's ooh, vanish here. And try to get another arcane crystal. That would be weird. Hmm? Another 60 gold. Let's hope not. People will go crazy. But I do get lucky most of the times, so that's for sure. Okay. Not today. Well, I guess we got lucky earlier. I want to see if uh, a couple of them spawn. Usually they're in pack of, packs of two. Uh, two Shadow Mages or Dark Adepts can spawn here. Two there. Um, two there, there. I think there are 10 spawn points in total. You see here we have like... Um, one of the Crypt Slayers. And we got one Dark Adept. Maybe last one is the lucky one, because we're gonna wrap this up. So, we got oh, slightly over 200 gold in uh, the 15 minutes we... Well, 20 minutes we tried to uh, shoot this video. Uh, you can be the judge of it. Uh, and this is... I, I wanted to make a point. This is what I did when... Before, I actually tested this a couple of times. First of all, each time I came here, I got recipes. And each time I went to the Weeping Cave in uh, EPL, I got recipes. And then I tried again to see if I can get them. And I got them consistent. Not one, but I got two and even three of them. Uh, also, uh, the larval acids, I tested them before. Um, I do make... I, I do have different... If you come on my stream, I have different ways of making gold. Like with professions and so on. And it's kind of weird. Um, but I do make more. For example, yesterday I made 900 gold playing uh, for about 8 hours while farming the Hand of Justice for my rogue with another rogue um, in BRD. But I, we were doing like 5 runs in 25 minutes. We did uh, 23 or 24 runs yesterday and uh, it managed to drop the Hand of Justice after 42 runs. Uh, look, see there, 2 Crypt Slayers spawned. Which is not really cool. I'm going to check the Lotus Spawn again. Well, it doesn't seem to be there. And another Crypt Slayer. Usually you get more lucky and you get more... Um... You can also do it here in the Fungal Veil. It's not necessarily only the Noxious Glade. But apparently we cannot get um, a Shadow Protection Potion right now. And my bags are quite full. So I think I'm going to wrap it up, guys. We made 200 golds. Uh, use we each pot you can. Like if you're playing during peak times, I would recommend probably the larval acids or one of those two spots. The cave might be a bit too populated during peak times, but if you're playing early in the morning, uh, you might have a better chance. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, have a lovely day, and uh, let me know what you think about this format because uh, we're going to make more um, more videos like this in the future for all the classes, not only for mages. So everyone can make uh, gold and uh, purchase their consumables and make their pre-best in slot. Uh, warriors, uh, priests, uh, whatever you are there that you think that you cannot make money, it's possible. You can you can make like a lot of money. So uh, let's kill the last shadow mage, see if... Um... Ah, <laughs> we didn't get it. But thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay frosty.